Wouldn't that be stupid if this is the way? Yep, I think this is the way. I'm gonna feel really stupid, I think. Yep. I feel stupid! Hello, and welcome to this G-String playthrough, this insane future overloaded with robo ladies of the evening, I'd call them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, what happened in the last playthrough? I mean, we battled against essentially a whole horde of ladies of the evening that were on fire. You know, after a big explosion, some destroyer just decided it wanted to bombard the area. And so we were left just fighting off these hellbots. Uh, but you know what? We're back in this game, on this roof. And proceeding forward to wherever this is going to take us. Which... You tell me where this is going. Because I have no idea. Other than a society that loves, you know, use pantyhoses and used undergarments of all sorts <laughs> and firm breasts forever yep such is uh, the future society that it it just deems a massive billboard on a huge building as appropriate to plaster a breast enhancement ad lovely I love the future <laughs> anyway but, we're on this roof, and I wasn't sure, I'm not sure exactly where to go. Uh, I did have a bit of a look around. And... Ooh. I believe I have to go, I do have to go up on the roof. Uh, which, not on that other roof that I thought we were meant to get onto. Uh, so, yeah, back up here again. And here. Uh, and the terrain. Oh, geez. It, it's a little frustrating. I've, it's been a reoccurring theme. The terrain bugs. Getting stuck on terrain. It just adds to the frustration a little bit. Yeah, over there. Oh. Oh yeah. This is the right way forward. You? Are you responsible for the bombardments? Alright. Maybe up this one. Yep, well done. Okay. Do I just fall down? Mm, maybe this is, this isn't the right way. Let's take a little peek around here. I thought it was that way, but maybe it isn't. Maybe I gotta get higher. Maybe um, I can get to something on this side. Nope. Custom design your baby. Yes. Our secret. That you custom designed your baby? Yeah, I'd keep that to myself. You know what? No, I'm convinced. I bet I have to fall down here. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. Treachery of the elevator, aka I'm probably going to die trying to do this. Maybe fall there. Hey! I don't need an audience. Oh, okay. No, I think we're doing this. I think we're doing it. Yeah. Just don't push me off. Oh, hang on. There. And there. 
Then I think we're safe. Eh. Yeah, you can watch me from down here if he's still alive. Oh, I hear soldiers. Yeah, I heard a soldier. Okay. Oh, okay. We made it past the next, into the next part. Okay. I believe there's cops around here. I heard one trying to take a pot shot at me. Such is the sweat tension levels. Okay, excellent. Yes, so we're just moving forward the city, forward in the city. We've been doing this the entire game. The entire game, moving through a derelict city. At what point? I thought we were... Ooh, yeah, but those destroyers are still bombing the area. I presume either as part of this robot uprising or they are specifically targeting me. It's overkill. Oh, it's come from there. Yes, as you can see, I'm in favour of gunning my boxes open. Yeah, and... Yeah, and again... Thank you. All right. There's a freaking, there's a freaking worm. Ah, oh. the bane of my existence. Slugs. I hate these slugs. Okay. So we're dealing with slugs this time again, hey? Okay. Yep. That's what you want me to do. The Q. Remember the Q. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, now the cutscene. Another snot slug cutscene. Oh, that looks like gas. Or is that water? Water. Ah, uh, keep that torch on. I, I still don't know the relevance. That's shown up like a couple of times throughout the, the game. And not really shedding any sort of context. I wonder what it's all about. I mean, we've got this robot uprising and some weird slug, some snot slug has something to do with us. Something to do with something. That ain't a robot. This is real people. Whoa. This looks hellish. This looks very hellish. Okay, let me just get through without getting burnt. Maybe we can help out whoever's screaming. Wow, this is a graveyard. Oh. Yep. Hello. Is this your final resting place? Uh, can I go through here? Probably not. Probably not. Uh... Train bugs, I feel like it's gonna just make me walk right into a bonfire. Right. Yeah. Rest in peace. At least you're warm. At least you're warm. I mean, how do these people die and when did they die? Is this like when this town went to hell or however long ago that was or this just happen now? Explosions can probably, yeah, disintegrate a body. Or something. 
Ah, uh, the Q button. Don't forget the Q button. Hey. I think we've arrived in hell. Not the most popular tourist destination. Oh, that was really hot. Oh, jeez. Don't! Right. I'm assuming in here. A train? It's a train. We just stay in the train, I think. Slugs and all that sort of stuff, you know? Yeah. Places of artwork as well. When you run out of paper, all you're left with are the walls. Oh, do not burn me. Yo. Yo. Ah. Oh, nice slippies. Uh, oh, whoa. Yep. Okay. I assume that's the door I go through. I'm pretty sure it's not through there. I'm almost 100% sure it's not through the flames. Ah, what did I tell you? Alrighty. Okay. Oh! I'm in it! What is this? What is this? I'm still Mio by the looks. Is this? Okay. Brain? Chair? Spike? Oh! Snot slugs. Give me some context, please. That's what was in the chair, right? And is this anything to do with Log? The all-powerful AI? More snotty things? Okay, what was all that about? I don't know. I truly don't know. Um, okay, so... This way. It's not slugs. Um, something that looks like brains hovering above a chair. Was that Log? Was that Log the AI? It's getting in my head, maybe. If you go back in my earlier playthroughs, um, you will know who I'm talking about. There is a GLaDOS type AI in this game who I, I think is leading or is leading this robot uprising from the robot side and I wonder if she's like manipulating me in some sort of way, manipulating my thoughts. Because I am, I am half Android but apparently my, my GPS is not working and I'm not sure if anything else is broken that prevents anyone from interfering with me. Maybe log can. Anyway, hey, like I was saying, feel like any underwear? Maybe. We are sorry, but 
but your biochip seems to be malfunctioning. Oh. purchase failed. But I've, you know. Please visit the nearest biochip clinic for further assistance. Oh, there you go. That's the other thing that's broken, is my biochip. Apparently that stops me from being tracked easily, which is great. Um. Flies? Maybe this is sta actually starting to progress. And go somewhere. Oh yeah. Great idea. Um. Maybe I'll run? No. Hey, let's see if this works. <laughs> Human waste. I almost was wasted. I'll take that. Okay. Oh. Is this like a vending machine storage area? What should we get? You got some used bras if you want it. You got some used leggings as well. I mean, I could probably do with some new ones. They're probably dirty by now. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the Baton Booth, the all purpose pleasure center. Go away, he's Baton. Oh, please run self-cleaning cycle after usage. Thank you! Ugh. Hello! Yes, I hope you're clean. I have no intention of interacting with you. What's that? Like a, f a flying kick. It's like some comic strip or something. Homely! Very homely. Oh, hello. Well, she's just like totally swiveling her hips. I have no interest. I said I have no interest. Born of Satan. Or oh, some scientist's mind. Okay, dead end. Yep, you stay there. Awaiting departure. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, are we going to be. Yes, they got us! I bet you that was a trap. Uh, okay. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Let's just enjoy the ride. Yeah. Not Victoria's Secret. It's our secret. What secret do we have? Oh. Oh, what's that? That's probably one of the destroyers that's bombarding, I reckon. Speeding up. Wow. I mean, finally the story is moving forward. Wow. It's very... It doesn't look like a very hospitable future, that's the way. Oh, someone attacked me. No, just some just some fighting. It's just the way the cops do it in the future, you know? One wrong move. And that's just the end of it. Off to jail. Oh. Things are falling. The pyramid. Yeah, we, we've seen this in the distance uh, earlier in the piece. 
not too dissimilar to like the Citadel in Half-Life 2, I suppose. So I guess they've taken a piece out of the Half-Life book. I don't mind. I mean, hey, if there's any game you want to like rip off and replicate, Half-Life, Half-Life 2, fantastic candidates. All right. Hello, you don't look too stable. I mean, there's a lot of things on fire, so... Is this just industry? Yeah, that looks like industry. Some, uh... Whatever's happening in the back there. It's like the new Quinana. Except ten times as big. Probably 20 times as polluted and 50 times as more policed. Oh, I thought they were like bomb speech. Okay. Some big bats. Another destroyer. Very cool. Very epic look. I mean, not too dissimilar to like Blade Runner, yeah. Ooh, lightning. I mean, I expect by the end of this ride, we're obviously moving a fair distance. I hope we pop up in a completely different location. Give us something different to look at, you know? What does that say? Dr. Chuang Hospital and Clinics. Upload your mind to the servers. Is that what we saw? Did we see... Are we seeing minds uploaded to computers? And so we're all part of some... Ouch. But you have robots though. You're making new species. Kwanzu. <laughs> Okay, pulling in somewhere. Pulling in somewhere. Can't see. Sector Zero flood protection. Can't see anyone around either. All right. That must be our door. Is that screen on fire? No, it's just showing a fire. I don't want this to be another derelict area. We want to experience some level of civilization. Okay. Open sesame. Let's proceed! Oh, let's check out this train. Ah, oh, just a small train. A bit of a soundtrack. Okay, can't go that way. I can't go... No. Well, that is electrified! That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Alright. Maybe we are already forced to backtrack. 
Oh. Is that toxic? Uh, it's toxic. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Typical. Hit by everything. Oh, yeah. Eh, maybe. Ooh. Very Star Wars y. Left or right? Hello. Right it is. I like my torch facing forward when I run, thank you. Okay. Hello. Go there, that's electrified. That's toxic. So it's either here or I've missed something. Which is not too abnormal. <laughs> yep. Ah. Maybe I uh, hop on and we go back. Do I get up there? Somehow? Probably. Wouldn't that be stupid if this is the way? Yep, I think this is the way. I'm gonna feel really stupid, I think. Yep. I feel stupid! Okay, let's try this again, hey? Uh, Alright, so how do I just go left? No! Oh. Yep, okay. Okay, maybe not jump. Let's not jump. Uh, oh, really? That's just too stupid. Just don't jump next time, huh? Okay. Now, surely this way is the right way. And probably the only way. Thank you! Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh! Ow! I don't think we have a choice in this situation. Oh. Guess what, Doctor? Your girl single-handedly took out ROG-9. Huh? Before it was destroyed, the mainframe captured and uploaded several images of her. It seems she has succeeded where an entire EMP strike team has failed. I told you, she is my most promising test subject. I am! Yes, it seems she is doing what she was engineered to do. Also, she was spotted in Sector 10, shortly before the bombings. We have reason to believe she got involved with those fanatics. Fanatics? The robot uprising guys? I'm not part Next of them. Next time, my men will not fail. Or the other guys. She has to be killed. Well, what do you think you are doing? You can't have her killed. That girl's worth a lot. This is not what I meant when I asked for your help. Oh. She has seen too much of the real world. You won't be able to control her. No, she is my best work. She's too dangerous. Haven't you read her diaries? Well, what have I written? it's your fault she got loose in the first place. <laughs> Perhaps That's Mr. True. Murdoch sees this differently. Maybe I'll ask him. Oh, sounds yes, petty. do that. I'm looking forward to his input. Yeah. So really, one bloke wants to kill me because I'm just too dangerous. The other bloke doesn't want me killed because I'm worth too much. 
absolutely nothing to do with me as a human being, right? Alrighty. Ugh. Alright. I think I'll end this part here. This is a nice little pool area. I might go for a little dip. Refresh, and then carry on in the next leg. <laughs> and I'll just sink to the bottom here, because I can breathe underwater. Alright. Did you like that? Hey, if you did, give me a like and maybe a subscribe. Then we'll see you the next time I put the next one up. Right? So until that next one, I'll see you in that next one. So have a good one. Ta-da!